Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince, and for this next Let's Play I'm going to show you, it is probably the most difficult Let's Play that I will have done so far. This game is freaking difficult. This is the first time I have ever seen an advertisement outright tell you the game is hard. I mean, take a look at the E3 trailer. Clover. It's not hard. It's ball-bustingly hard. Wow! When have you ever seen a video game trailer just showing your character get his ass kicked over and over again? Oh, you know what? I get the feeling it's going to happen to me too. I've beaten this game, but it is no walk in the park. Freaking difficult. But you know what? It is also freaking awesome. At least the beginning of that trailer showed you the character being more successful, and it's so quirky and awesome. Basically, picture... Hokuto no Ken, an anime series from the 1980s, and of course a manga series as well, but picture it if it were humorous. I know it sounds weird because we're considering post-apocalyptic world, or in God hands, more of a sort of deserted series of towns, and you're just mowing down thug after thug after thug. Also, there are demons. Yeah, let's have some fun with that. I think we're going to have a blast as long as I, uh, can afford to keep having the stamina to retry. I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting out of footage, I'm pretty sure. At the time of this recording, I've already cut out uh, some footage from a boss fight because I tried too many times, but that's okay. This game's amazing. I do have fun with it. I hope you will too. Let's go crazy. Lotus Bridge. Let's play. Clover. Now there's a good company. <laughs> Explicit violence and gore. What is this, Silent Hill? Uh, this game does have a fair share of violence, but I wouldn't say gore. Mm. 
rockin' menu theme. Now then, let's go to a new game. Easy, normal, and... Why, what comes after normal? I don't even know! Uh, totally doing normal. For the record, if you say easy, he says something like, what, do I have to hold your hand? If you say hard, he asks, like, are you crazy or something? But normal... That's what I expected from you. <laughs> Damn straight, Gene. Damn straight. This game is freaking amazing. Reeks. I know. I love Wait. how he's fine. You don't expect me to mop up, do you? Come on. Those guys are cake. Not to mention, much sexier than you. Well, oh. your sexy little friends. They're coming for a dance. <laughs> They're still sexier than you are. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> Woo! My man. Let's get this started. First thing I'm going to do is show you a couple of uh, basic features of the game. Techniques. The fighting system is relatively complex. You choose any move you want in any order you wish to put it in. Got the triangle button, X button. Guard breaker is freaking invaluable. And if you notice the upper right, it tells you if the move has special abilities. In this case, break guard. Juggle enemy charge attack. This one's great, but you'll never get it off. Ooh. Arrow roll kick. Now, there's the roulette. The roulette is basically our special moves. Um, these are all super moves. The yellow ones cost one orb to use. Wild pitch is a silver one, or a blue one, I guess. Cost two. Red ones cost three. We don't have those, and hell, we don't have three orbs. How do I know? Check the lower left. You see that green skull there? Next to it is two orbs. And those are what's used for the roulette moves. The yellow bar is our health. The black bar is empty. It's going to be our basically our god hand meter. It builds up as we do well in fights. The skull itself, it's green. It says level 1. Basically, as I do better and better in combat, I can go up to level 2, level 3, and finally level die. As you can see, the enemies are little wimps right now. That's because it's level 1. Now, what's the difference between easy, medium, and hard if you can increase your level all the time, no matter what? Well, on easy mode, you can go, ooh, on easy mode, you can go up to level 2 only. I'm playing on normal mode, I can go all the way up to level... Die. On hard mode, you're on level die all the time. Hey, aren't you Mr. Heart? <laughs> I think you're Mr. Hart. Oh, I tried catching him. Whatever. Ha! Level 1. Let's me take away like half his health. Can I do the special move? Uh, oh, he died just before I could do it. Don't worry, you'll see about a hundred more opportunities. Now, let's see. What the hell, I'll break open the boxes. Got some cash monies. Oh yeah, I didn't show you. Right stick. Right, left, down, and up. Up jukes, I'll be using this the whole damn game. Left stick, holds to run, double tap to dash. Man, level one, these guys just don't know how to block. Also, L1, turn around immediately, L2. <laughs> what that does is it makes enemies angry and run toward you. The only reason you'd want to do that is to lure a guy out, or, actually there are two reasons, or to uh, slowly increase your god hand meter, because that does do it if an enemy is affected. This card will give me one roulette orb. If I pick it up now, I'm already maxed out, so I would get cash instead. But I want to hold off on that if, in case I actually do need an orb. Because I may very well end up needing one. Yeah, I saw those guys being bullies. Give me just a second. Pick up my, not my boomstick, my regular stick. Ooh, he 
felt bad. Sorry, I'm trying to navigate around this area of sand. I'll show you why shortly. The reason will become apparent, I promise. Aww. What's tricky about this game is that pretty much any enemy is viable. Like, any enemy in this game can just straight kill you. I have my god hand meter in case you didn't notice. I'm glowing a little bit, and my bar at the bottom is glowing. You don't have to have it full to activate god hands, but with this... Well, you could upgrade the size of your bar, so at the stage it is now, I would have to completely fill it, but that's not always the case. This one was a third... okay. Whatever, I'll bring them out. I'll save my god hand for when I absolutely... Okay. I'll save my god hand meter for when I absolutely need it. Gotcha. Alright. That's okay. That doesn't hurt, it just blinds me temporarily, as you can see. Ooh, there's your suplex for you. Okay, here's why I wanted these guys out of my way. Where is it? It's around here somewhere, isn't it? Hello? Yeah, we know about that. Roulette wheel. See? But not now. There it is. That's what I want. I want to make that jewel in the center of him go all the way to the top. I think I should be good. Yes! That special looking card gives me... I'm not sure if it's two cards or three. I think it... Or roulette orbs. I think that it might actually completely restore my roulette orbs. Or not restore. I think it might give me three. I have no use for that at this time, though. Again, it's good for cash. Okay, things are gonna get ugly in here real soon. Yeah, welcome to demons. This is where I stop playing around. These things are freaking difficult, because they're so fast and strong. I attracted these guys' attention, but they're not gonna bother me. They know better. Screw this, I'm going invincible. I can't do this. Uh-oh. I can't afford to waste this. Uh, yeah, Ball Buster. Oh, damn it. Oh, whatever, that's fine. Ah, yeah, killed him. It's good enough for me. Oh, that sucks. You give me cash? Sometimes those demons actually drop a... Like a, like a new attack move for you. The advantage of that is that you don't have to buy it. Because you gotta buy moves in this game. Oh, I might die. Hey, I just remembered the civilian I saved. Actually, this will be good too. He's level 3 now, I'm not playing with him. Here we go. Whew. I'm gonna come back in here, I'm not done with it yet, but I need to find that civilian first. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, for God's sake, I'm not ready for this. Whoa. Yeah, they can sometimes use team moves, which is pretty awesome. I really love running out of their field of uh, combat that they're willing to engage in. These guys can hurt. Now, where's his buddy is what I want to know. Okay, good. Now his buddy's alone, wherever the hell he is. I do have a radar, so I guess this is where the civilian is. Nice. Very minor health. The cherry. That'll have to do. Just because I like breaking stuff. Now, where did that goon go? That's what I want to know. Hmm. So there was in there. This is the area to the next zone. This I really should use. I'm going to have to find a guy to use that on. In fact, 
I know just the guy. Whoa! That guy totally snuck up on me. He had it coming. The barrels are obviously better for crowd control, seeing as how they blow up. Also, that's too many guys. Uh oh. Ah, I tried dodging the side and failed miserably. Holy crap. Let's get out of here. I don't like being surrounded. There we go. Yeah, being grabbed by the little guy is bad. Oh boy. Level die. By the way, the reason you... Yes. The reason you actually would want to increase your, um level of difficulty meter is, well, number one, it just shows that you're doing well, which means you're already not dying. But number two, when you beat a world, you get bonus cash based on um, how many guys you killed on level one, two, three, and die difficulty. Obviously, die yields the most points. Great. <laughs> I love that, just barreling through furniture. I guess I can go back downstairs now. I see a guy on my radar, I want to find out where he is. And I want to check if there's anything I missed in here. That's just the same place I should have figured. Alright. Through the stables I go. I'm actually doing really well now. In fact, I'm going to pick up that roulette card. Oh! So that's where he went. Why are there two of you? Ah. Great, now I'm not doing well. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Well, I leveled down. Now it's a little easier. Maybe I'm not the best god hand player. Sorry. Let's take care of that. Mm. How do you like me now? Give me an item. Nice. Nice. And he even says nice. And that's the civilian in the building, so let's go... Right, that roulette card. Where the hell was that? Was it around the building? Huh. In the building? I know it wasn't far. And items do not disappear. I'll check the... I'll, I'll run around the entrance one more time. If it's not here, then I'll just screw it. It's only worth a couple hundred... Sh uh, um, coins anyway. Oh well, screw it. I wonder if it shows up on the radar. I don't even know. <laughs> I love the way the guy gets off his little post. And now the hard part of the the gas. Ah, oh, oh well. Here's the tricky part. This guy, look what he's holding. <laughs> do not get hit by that. It will ruin your day. I thought he would do more swings. Already I'm screwing... Oh, god damn it. Already I'm screwing this up royally. Nice. Now's my chance. Thank you, God. I love it. That does not help me nearly enough. Food? Suck. Um, food? Full god hand meter, I'm actually going to want that. But, first, let me get myself a weapon. Now I got myself a weapon. Oh. Food? Oh, you suck. Alright. Mr. Hart. What a pain in the behind. And now I run. Like I said. Okay. Screw this, I'm going god hand. I can't afford to mess around. At all. Good. Now I play this next part. Very carefully. last part of the level is always the most difficult. 
And no, I'm not done. I'm reasonably sure this guy turns into a demon. Which ends my life. Oh, God hand. <laughs> I cannot play with this guy. Ball Buster because it's hilarious. And now... Now I'm level die. This is bad. I have to be so careful. Nice. Oh. Oh. Chop. I made it through the first level without dying. This is a rare occurrence. Nice. Oh my god. Stressful. Nice. Mm. Oh, thank you. Is Chop any good for my combos? That's what I want to know. Left hook is a little slow. That's also a little slow. Let's see. That's decent. Oh my god, I made it through. Holy crap. Oh. That's not easy, man. That's not easy. I'm actually kind of proud of myself right now. Whew. First, before I continue, I'm going to enter the shop just to give you a taste for what this game has to offer. Shop. You can buy and sell moves. I don't really have use for almost any of these things right now, to be honest. And a lot of these I can't even afford in the first place. Roulette, they're not selling anything. Power up. Yeah, power up. I want. Badly. Increase HP, increase god hand meter, and even increase my number of attacks, which means I would go from 4 to 5. But alas, I cannot buy anything except for really, really cheap moves, so I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Also, we have ourselves a jukebox. There's no disc inside, though. Those are unlockables. Here's the radio. Yeah, what the hell, let's take a lesson. In the days before time, an angel filled with pride fell from the heavens to a life in exile as the demon king Angra. Filled with spite and hatred, Angra spearheaded a charge of demons and specters to overthrow the world of mortal men. However, a man appeared with the power of God sealed in his arms and used this power to once again send Angra into exile. The people, grateful that the threat of Angra had subsided, bestowed upon the man the title of God Hand. Legend states, although the man has long since gone, a single clan continues to this day to defend his arms, which they call the God Hands and the power held within. Those who possess this power are capable of becoming either God or Demon. That's basically the plot of the entire game. I know that was really hard to understand, but basically what that was saying was the Demon King Angra became angry and fought an angel, and basically the God Hands came down to Earth. I think there are two of them. Obviously we have one. It gives you the power to become God or Demon. And of course we're fighting for the way of truth and justice. Let's stay in that hotel. <laughs> okay. I'll search for their base from here. Ah, much better. Gee, oh, that's Stannis. Are you listening? Ah, have fun. Got nothing to do with me. Impossible. God damn. Oh, must be hunting season. Oh, 
Well, now we know what's up with Jean's arm. We got a it's new time one. time to get to business, Jean. Yeah, really, let's save some civilian. Well, I guess that guy's already screwed. <laughs> what the hell? Huh? Check your back, smartass. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it, Olivia. <laughs> That's amazing. Here's a fun fact about that sign. It's on your back in the game. And one of the ways to get one of those unlockable discs for the jukebox is to beat the game with that sign on your back. That means no god hand, no roulette. Can you begin to imagine how hard that is? In case you can't, I'll just tell you, it's hard. This is gonna kill me, but I gotta try it. Oh no, it's too close, too close, too close, too close. Let's try it now. This ought to be hilarious. Don't get too close! Yes! Oh, nice. Ooh. Wow, that guy is gone. And he's alive. Let's finish this. I'm sorry, I thought that badass flying kick would have done him in. Oh, he's resetting his position, and we went too far. Why is he still alive? God damn. Some across the damn map. I love it. There we go. Let's hold for bonuses. God damn it, Olivia. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious though, gotta admit. Okay. Exploration time. This level's not very long, which is why I'm doing it. Give me a second to come with her. Bonus? Nice. Yes, that's what I needed. That is exactly what I needed. And these? Health? Health? Damn. No more health? No more health. Alright, let's do this. You up for my challenge? Of course! If you die in the challenge, your health resets, so it's really not a big deal. Like, at all. Ooh, this challenge is actually kind of tough. What you I'm gonna go ahead and nip this one in the bud. Okay. There we go. Whoa. And now I have a challenge. Uh -oh. oh my god. Oh, thank god. Now the important part. No. Oh god, no. Oh no. Oh, that ruined me. Damn it. I didn't want to stop. I wanted to pick up the stupid club. But that's okay. My health and my god meter were set. And maybe I'll do it right this time. There's really no penalty for losing at all. The only catch is when you win, whatever your condition is, it stays that way. So if I lose health in this fight, my health will be lower when I leave. That's the only downside. So, like I said, nip this one in the bud. Nip this one in the bud. La Bamba really is kind of a pathetic move, but at least for the purpose of these guys, it gets the job done. Nice. 
easy to avoid, but if he does connect with that throw, you are in a oh boy, you are in a world of hurt. Uh oh. Damn, it's it's hard to get it right. I'll just let him go. <laughs> yes! Now he should bounce off these ropes and give me the club. Yes! Now he's mine. Yes! Now while it may have looked relatively easy to keep dodging that club, it kind of is if you know the pattern, but you really gotta get the timing right. And the reason I didn't use my god hand is because, as I said, I would end up without any god meter when I got out of that challenge. But hey, 20,000 richer. Recall I entered this level with like 3,600. So at this stage of the game, 20,000 is a really big deal. Now I should have a welcoming committee right about... I gotta watch out for these guys. These guys are... These guys can cruise, man. They're faster than they look. Good. Let's get one of them over here. <laughs> Nothing? Let's get that one. Too far? Oop. Oh, that's okay. This guy's fine, too. Oh! Screw this guy, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I gotta stop playing around. Good health? No. Oh, one thing that's kinda nice, if you do die... Ugh, that's what I was afraid of. I told you they were fast. But, like I was saying... Oh, I gotta be careful. I want him to die, but as you know, enemies can drop things, so I do not want to do that. Whatever. Oh, for God's sake, man. I only have so much time and patience. <sighs> Maybe I should knock one of these guys off. Or not. This could be a problem. Oops, wrong guy. That's okay. God. Ooh. Ah. Oh. That's alright, I probably will continue after that fairy. With full health. That's one thing that the game does give you uh, mercy about. It's you get full health when you continue. Thank God, otherwise this thing would be like unbeatable. Unless you're freaking pro. I do consider myself generally good at this game, but I mean, for God's sake, man, I have my limits. Now let's get that one guy over here. Oh no, the two fat men. And again, they can freaking warp, so I gotta watch out for that. Like that. The good news is it hurts their friends. There we go. Surefire kill. Probably brought his friends over. He dropped something. You're the god hand. Nice cash. Oh, he's just waiting. That's fine. Now I'm treading dangerous ground. Ugh. The good news is I'm pretty sure it's impossible for me to fall off the ledge. It sucks to get beat up, but I'll take but I'll take level three. Oh man. I am sucking right about now. Here we go. Now where's that fat man? Hey, fat man. Oh, he's sleeping. Shall I do a barrel roll? Ooh. 
Eh. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. This should be the last enemy on the stage anyway. Gotcha. Well, that was considerably easier, huh? I love it. I got health. And that's it. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Whoo! Ooh, cutscene. Azel, as the newest member of the four devas, you had better have a good reason for calling us here. That is Bells. I've discovered the one in possession of the God Hand. He is Azel. <laughs> he is Elvis. I love this guy. Sure about that? I can feel it. Look at that hand. And she is Shannon. Look at his left arm. He is a god hand. God hand is so blasé. Call me the devil hand. I don't care what you call yourself. I don't trust dirty humans. <laughs> Your kind is so incredibly stubborn. Humans will be nothing but worker bees creating honey in our paradise. Mmm, I can think of other things to do with mortal men. So many uses. They can be such wonderful toys. You local chicanoe! Let me deal with this human cabron. Shut up! Get your legs off my table! Shannon gets exasperated with Elvis all the time. It's freaking hilarious. Elvis, find out if this human truly is the God Hand. You're the boss. <laughs> Elvis is freaking amazing. Now, I've already entered the shop, and you know what I'm gonna buy. But first, I also want to show you the casino. I'm not gonna... Well, I'll do one thing. One thing. Because we're breaking the half hour mark right now. Give you a quick tour. I'm gonna be in here a lot, but you won't see it. Because it'll be freaking boring. If you go up the stairs, there's a room that you could only enter if you have 100,000 G. It's just a mega slot machine. The slot machine gives out good cash, and it could also give you a ticket for... Well, that you give it to these, this guy, and you could open one of these three chests. You might get cash, you might get a, a move like the Demon's Drop, or you might get one of the discs for the jukebox. It only happens once, though. Get a ticket, bring it here. Take care and you pick up the box. By the way, I can hit the clientele here, but then you have to fight this guy. You get nothing out of it, except that he'll reduce you to minimal health, and this guy like will kill you in like two hits. Our slot prizes are fit for a king, hitting the jackpot, learning new techniques. Here are the blackjack tables, which I have no and billiards. Blackjack tables, which I have no use for at this time. If you're not looking to leave broke. Blackjack's the game for you, but you won't be leaving rich either. True enough. Here is the place I frequent: video poker. Fancy yourself a gambler? A real gambler knows the true game to play is poker. High or low is the game to play if you're into double or nothing. Press your luck twice and walk away with four times the cash, but that's only if you guess right. Whenever you clear a stage, you can try new missions at the fighting ring. Word on the street says there's a bonus for clearing all 40. Yeah, I'll show you that later. And yeah, video poker really is the best way to get money. I'll show you, like, two rounds, because they go by quickly. A pair is worth nothing. So, let's see. Probably can't do anything good with this. Nope, I lose. I'll try one more time. I always go for the straights. I know it's not gonna work. And eh, last round for reals. Because this does eat up your money more quickly than you think. I can't do anything with this. Let's go for a flush, guys. <sighs> oh, sorry. Okay, this is it for real. Probably still losing this. Nothing. This looks like it pays out like garbage. 
And a lot of times it kind of does. But if you win, you win big. Like, this is how I get my money. When I cut the feed, I'm going to grind. Because I need cash to pay for those upgrades to my health, god hand meter, and, um... Attack. And also, I need to buy new attacks for them to be relevant. What am I going to do with 100 slots if I can't use my attacks? In fact, I'll run to the store and get what upgrades I can right now, then I'll head out, save, and call it a day. Nope. Whoop. Looks like I could buy one more attack. Fruit smoothie. Well, I'll equip that attack after the fact. You'll see it later. I'm not gonna obviously do anything in the plot, that would just be a dick move. This is a let's play after all. So I'm just gonna take care of the grinding for cash, buying moves, equipping them. I'll take care of that when this feed is off. I'll probably be grinding for like at least a half an hour. So with that out of the way, I can cut the installment. Well, I'd say we made a fair bit of progress today. We got through the first two levels of the game. I actually made it through the first level without dying. And while the second level was shorter, I was a bit weakened, especially after that little demonesses challenge. So I got my ass kicked a couple of times. And trust me, that's going to happen a lot more in this game. A lot more. But I'll cut it out if it gets, you know, if it takes up too much of the feed. So what do you think of this game so far? Badass? Freaking hilarious? Personally, I think it's both. I really do. This game's this game's jokes, like, the, these first couple of jokes were good for a chuckle, but some of them are actually laugh-out-loud funny. But, of course, we'll come to those when we come to them. In the meantime, let's get ready for the next installment, which you might have noticed the level of which is called a Poison Chihuahua. I guess we'll find out what that entails the next time I delve into God Hand. Until next time, everyone.